Hello friends, family, and other creatures of the sea. Welcome back to a high-level best of three from the Korean StarCraft League. Today, in the top left spawning as our blue Protoss player, we have Nightmare. And in the top right here on Ghost River, as the Red Zerg player, it's of course going to be Dark. We're going to have a Protoss versus Zerg here. Currently one of my favorite types of matchup to watch, especially when it invo involves Dark. He is uh, He's an interesting fella. He's one of those guys that truly has it all. He has the ability to play long, powerful macro games. He can all in in the early. He can go for mid-game timings as well. Although a little bit less likely, I would say. Dark is, you know, it's really more the one or the other. It's a very aggressive dark or often a more of kind of a, a late game dark, you know. Sometimes the aggressive dark accidentally goes into the late game dark, and that can happen to the best. First step's gonna get Chrono Boost. Star gets out on the way. We're on Ghost River. It's not a river on this map, actually. More like a sea on the side. Terrible naming conventions in StarCraft. This also doesn't look like a fat river. No, it's more like a lake or something. A like ghost lake. Ghost Lake City. That would be a sick name for a town. Or for a city, for that matter. Either way, we have a Stargate coming out. Dark is trying to poke around with these links. I always kind of like the dance between the links counter-attacking, Adept's moving out. We have Disadept going across the map. Disadept. We don't know what's going to happen with it. I wouldn't mind if he sends it out. Uh, for now, though, Nightmare. Ooh, look at that. Some high ground shenanigans over here. Decides to attack the queen rather than the drones. That was a mistake. So the result is perhaps actually going to lose this adept. There's two links still on the low ground. And indeed this adept is going to end up falling. Whether Nightmare likes it or not. Stalker on the way behind all of this is the first oracle is about to pop. There's going to be some delay on the second oracle. That is very standard if you're following this up with a stalker. Spore coming down in the main no third queen uh, on the way quite yet over here on the third, which does surprise me a little bit. No second queen in the main yet either. This oracle is just going to stay home, trying to protect this probe while building the third base. Curious to see how Nightmare plays this matchup. Never have any clue what Nightmare is up to in the Protoss vs. Zerg matchup. I like him a lot in PvT. I like him a lot in PvP. But in PvZ... Yeah, I'm not as big a fan. It's like these weird, weird little things that he does, like building colossus. That I'm not, not, not very fond of. I used to think it was personal taste, you know. It, I always thought that the the difference between colossus and storm well, was like the, the there's people that like rap music, there's people that like classical music, and there's people that like you know, punk or rock, uh, but. Now I've realized that I've just been right all along. Playing Storm is just superior. And people that have been playing Colossus all this time don't just have bad taste. They were also objectively wrong. I think Storm is just much better. So all the people that have been playing Colossus for like the past years. You're idiots. Sorry. I can't help it. Storm is just much... Much stronger. It, 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 there's more power in it. It's much better against Banelings. It's better against Lynx. It's better against Roaches. It's better against... Well... Maybe Hydras? I think so. Perhaps. It doesn't matter so much because Hydras are not really a problem anyway. Either way, we have the Triple Oracle now pushing out. And uh, Blink on the way behind is with a plus one. Three more gates coming in as well. Going to bring the total up to five. Nightmare here scouted the lack of a fourth base. That could indicate a lot of different things, like a bit of a push. Ooh, is, is Dark actually a Hydra rushing here? It does seem like he's going for a cheeky little Hydra rush. 55 workers, 16 links in production. Four more workers are about to pop out. So 60 workers, Evo Chamber, no extra gas. Late, 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 late fourth base. This is an insanely late fourth base for the Zerg. He's floating a bit of cash as well here. As uh, Dark is also somewhat supply blocked at this moment. Uh, oracles are gonna stay alive, don't get any serious damage done, except to themselves. And I guess this one queen, but we'll just get transfused later on, so not the end of the world. Dark is a, an uber supply block. Five extra overlords on the way. Injects now happening. 
And we're going to have to wait and see how this is going to play out. But in my mind, this shouldn't really be a very viable playstyle at all for Dark. Um, pure Hydra Ling of 60 workers. This has to be uh, some type of all-in. Like, it can't be anything but an all-in. But at the same time, Nightmare is also kind of all-in here. Nightmare, 61 workers. Seven gateways is now proxying a gate against someone that has the same worker count. Uh, soon to have similar upgrades as well. I actually wonder who wins this. I feel like the defender would just win in this type of scenario. Because both players are all inning into one another. I always love that type of stuff. The all-in into the all-in. I do have to admit that I'm not usually fond of Hydra's um, scaling into a longer game. I feel like Stalkers are, are kind of okay when it comes to that. Uh, big playing forward, which is most definitely uh, not a great call. It's gonna get away with it, though. 70 army supply to 70 army supply. Plus 1 versus plus 0. Hydra count is 17. The Stalker count is 24. Here we go with another engagement. Transfuse is going down. It feels like the Stalkers are uh, so far getting the better end of this trade, I think. Should continue to blink back and perhaps regain a little bit of those shields. But then we could also see perhaps plus two and, and charge being researched here on the side of the Protoss player. I don't think that Nightmare is aware how bad the economy of his opponent is. He really doesn't need to be attacking right now. He is, but he doesn't have to be. As the Hydras are starting to pierce through some of these shields, a bunch of Hydras caught in his stasis, which does suck. Lots of Zealots being warped in, but charge is nowhere near being done quite yet. 1400 minerals in the bank as well as eight new stalkers get warped in. It's going to give quite a, a boost to this army. 23 stalkers to 23 hydras. Fort base is up for dark. He hasn't built a single drone yet. He's now starting his plus two range attack. As uh, half the hydras not really in this fight quite yet. Oh, he's got, coming in with a, a cheeky little flank here. There's a lot of zealots there. Stasis ward. Perhaps going to cover some of these stalkers. Dark is really keen on attacking into this. I don't think that's even remotely possible here. Stalker count is simply too high at 28. We have uh, these seven zealots still around. Charge is finishing up in seven seconds and that's going to be a bit of a game changer here I think. Could run these into the natural. Lynx can't really deal with this. Hydras in low numbers aren't great against zealots in low numbers. I feel if both are in high numbers then all of a sudden it's kind of okay for the hydras because range often skills better but if it's like Eight zealots versus six hydras. Yeah, I'm not loving that spot for the hydras to be uh, to be quiet on us. No plus two still here for Nightmare, who has managed to reach 162 supply. We now have Glyo Reconstitution, also known as Road Speed, on the way. Seven drones. And so it feels like Dark has kind of stabilized here because he has so many hydras. And as I say that, I see 22 zealots moving in. I think he can just straight up engage into this, no? Is he gonna blink forward? This feels like a moment where you blink forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can, I can dig that. I can dig that. This is one of the rare moments where a blink forward might actually be worthwhile. Still scary because um, you're really committing hard here to the play. But a lot of stalkers have already gone down. Here comes the Hydra flank. Perhaps another blink into the main base is going to help out. Hydra then gets sniped. Next warp in of Zealots is now coming in and is hopefully going to help out these stalkers here that have already made their way into the main base. This has been an extremely weird game with both players all inning into one another. But Nightmare, uh, gonna take the W, Q, W, E, 4 into the GG. His Nightmare takes map number one. It's kind of funny because when I saw Dark already doing that uh, that Hydra build, I started getting a little bit afraid. But then you don't really want to doubt Dark openly. You know, that's uh, that is social suicide. This guy... <laughs> this guy knows what he's doing most of the time or at least i'm not sure if he knows what he's doing but he knows that everything will be all right in the end dark is kind of like a romantic comedy in a way you know you watch dark and you think to yourself no one does this in real life right this isn't real uh it, but then at the same time you also know that there's going to be a, a neat happy ending you know dark is gonna get a w get some some mmr is gonna get some prize money at the end it is is really similar. It's like it feels unreal, um, except with dark, it is real. Romantic comedies, um, for the people that aren't aware, most of the time are fiction. I wonder if there's been any romantic comedies that are actually just a complete true story and not based on a true story. 
the words based on a true story also are ridiculous because most i mean it is often so loosely based on a true story that it might as well not have been it's like these people are too lazy to come up with their own premise or synopsis so they have to steal it from somewhere and then they have to say that they based it on a real story they just didn't have an idea themselves so they they took it and then the rest they made up it's like, eh, mediocre very mediocre not a fan of that type of stuff we have uh, this was a 15 hatch, I believe, coming out of uh, Mister Dark. Nightmare tried going for a uh, probe hatch block, didn't succeed because well, it was a 15 hatch and really block that. Good luck with that, buddy. And what do we have over here? We have two probers, three probers. God, this is such a stargate position. Like this is a this, this pylon is not being sneaky, you know. Everyone knows what this guy is for. Freaking Stargate, boom, right on the edge. Yeah. It's absolutely classic. Gonna have this probe. Um, this probe's not gonna die. It's just running back with some uh, minerals in its mouth. Which does excite me. Nexus finishes up. Third hatchery as well coming in. Look how little gas he's mining. This is so sick. Because that means his speed is going to be... Seriously delayed as well. So far, he's built a single set of links. Like Dark is getting away with some some crazy greed over here. He's gonna start his metabolic boost at this point, I can't imagine. But this feels off. Like with, I don't know. He's actually gonna build another Overlord before metabolic boost. He's really he's really delaying that speed. At this point, might as well completely delay it. Doesn't seem like Nightmare is planning on moving across the map with both of these, uh, with, well, with either of these adapts, um, and definitely not with both. Not quite yet. Stalker is going to be the next unit. As um, yeah, I'm loving the opener here for Dark. Absolutely nice, neat little opener. Low on that link count. It's gonna get away with it. Late on that uh, metabolic boost. It's gonna get away with it. The second Oracle is now in production. <laughs> Let's just use his first Oracle for scouting. Which is kind of a wild move, to be honest. This is not something you, you very often see. He's going to deny the Overlord on the high ground. Nexus does go down. And now the question is simply going to be... What are, what are Dark's plans? Are we going to see another Hydra Rush? If we will, I'd be shocked. Uh, because I don't think it's very good. Out of Nightmare, it's going to be simple. You just throw down the, the Forge and the Twilight. And I think we're doing the, the exact same thing here. Hasn't built a third Oracle quite yet, though. It's adding way more Adepts into the mix. He's actually changed it up. A serious change up here. Coming out of Nightmare. No, just a very late third Oracle. Okay, well, that's still a change up. And a very serious one, just not a great one. I'd love for this creep tumor to be taken out as well. I hate it when you accidentally hit the the old the old creep tumor with the revelation. It feels like you're wasting stuff. It's like buying expired food. It's like technically it's food, but you're not gonna eat it. <laughs> and, and now you bought it. I think most of the time, if you can prove that you well, you can just return it, I'm pretty sure. I very often when I'm at the cash register, I realize one of the products I have, there's something wrong with it. You know, it's like if something doesn't look right, especially with like fruit and vegetables or something, I can get like a box of grapes, and one of the grapes is like the it's like it's like all moldy already. And you know, with grapes, if one grape is moldy, the rest of them are are moldy too. Like it's, it's never just one. It's they always come in in groups. Grapes. You know, if they would just fight one on one, these grapes with their mold, but no, they have to take all of their friends with, try to poison you. I'm not actually sure how bad it is to eat mold. I think I've eaten quite some mold in my life. Like, accidentally. I was like, you know, you know look for it. Let me just leave this, uh, this nasty bread out here for a couple of days, see what happens. You smell it. it, it doesn't smell good. I had quite some mold, but I, I, I'm, I'm quite a slow eater with, with bread, for example. So you'd buy like a bread, and then you eat like two sandwiches, and you're like, well, that was great. Now I want to eat two more sandwiches in two months from now. Then you look at the bread two months from now, it's all green. But sometimes it's kind of insidious. You can't really see it, you know? It's, it's, it's 
on the inside of the bread, not on the outside. And you already put your spread on, your, your peanut butter and jelly. And as you're taking a bite, you smell it and you know, oh, this is off. It's a very peculiar smell. I should put that in a cologne. See how much you sell of that. Mold. Probably pretty easy to produce as well. I'm not sure if it's going to have a very, you know, very big pool in the dating market, but... Be an exciting experiment. All right. Stalkers once again moving across the map. Dark has managed to once again be at a lower worker count than his opponent. Which at this point almost feels like it's on purpose. This is not good. This is absolutely not good for Dark. Like, this is a terrible situation. Plus one melee has finished up. He's going to lose his fourth base? He's going to get uh, surrounded though by these links. Roaches coming in from the side. We'll take out a bunch of these Stalkers. So Stalker's going down, resources lost, still fine though for Nightmare. Nightmare's not going to turn around, he's going to turn back around, double turn around, so that's just a 360. 28 Banes in production? Do we have anything being built, like Storm or something? No, no Storm quite yet. God, I freaking love getting Storm. Oh, nice. I really do love getting Storm. Storm is one of these mo the most underrated spells, I think, in PvZ and has been for a long time. Not because people don't build it, but there are some people that don't think it is that good. And I think it is that good. Um, it's building an Archon right now, it's trying to add in another Oracle as well, but this pain count is very serious. This is an 8 minute push, I don't quite think Nightmare is ready for this, at least he's not in the right position to defend this. Templar's gonna get taken out, Painlings trying to roll in forward, probes need to evacuate, but they're not. The oracles in the sky are still helping out. Cannon plus batteries on the left side helping too. Do we have units in the wall? Yes, we do. And that means that uh, at least these banelings are not going to be capable of getting in here. More stalkers in production as the fourth oracle now pops on out. I do believe that Dark is uh, rolling towards a victory as he's going to snipe his opponent's third base. Behind this, Dark is building a fourth and a fifth. Still an extremely low worker count though. I kind of think Dark needs to take out this base as well. He can't just be happy with taking out one base. The second base needs to go. Plus two melee is on the way. Plus two uh, weapons attack for the Protoss is also on the way. As these Oracles are largely out of energy. And that means that uh, I think Dark is just going to straight up win over here. Zealot Warpins right into the action. One more Oracle Pulsar Beam is being activated. But there's so little energy. Not going to get that many kills here. Six kills total on this Oracle 3A2. Yeah, the, 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 the kill numbers aren't great. This fort base has gone down. And as more and more links are streaming across the map as well as the roaches currently in production. I am not loving this spot here for Nightmare. One could even say that it is bad. As, um, oh wait, this base hadn't gone down yet? Well, it is about to go down anyway. I can't believe I made that future prediction there. In Nostradamus over here. Absolutely mental. 11 more roaches in production here as well as GG gets called and Talon's Dark is going to win game number two ties of the series. And that brings us to game number three here in this best of three, which also means it's the final game on side Delta. With a more standard hatch first, did get it down at a normal timing as well. Lovely to see. I wonder what Nightmare would have done different had he known what he was playing against. More batteries, more cannons, higher oracle count. I did like the thought of adding in these extra oracles. But then again, Dark could have technically just taken his queens and kind of undone that work. I feel like if you're playing against these types of Ravager Link Bane attacks, you really need either very quick storm or you're going to need to kind of kite it back home with uh, relatively high energy on the oracles. So that you can kind of keep your stalkers safe. You can kite, you can kite, then you hit super batteries. Super batteries in the back, cannons. It's really hard because if you're opening with a heavy stalker count, your storm is never going to be in time for this. It is simply impossible. If you want to hit a normal timing with stalkers, Temple Archives goes down, what, 620? 625? By the time storm is done, this uh, attack has killed every single worker and every pylon at your third and fourth base. So... Yeah, I, I, I do wonder. I mean, one issue there definitely was the lack of understanding out of Nightmare that he probably could have given up his fourth and been fine because he kind of was spread in between the bases rather than fully sending the defense on one of them bases. You know, that 
that does make a difference. Either way, see what's going to kick off on the, in the third game. I'm just happy to see no Colossus being built. In my mind, I had Nightmare tagged as a guy that liked Robo Base. Which, once again, that's not something you should be liking. It's, it's messed up. It's like uh, enjoying eating bitter almonds. Which, for the people that don't know, bitter almonds contain a, a, a potentially lethal dose of cyanide. So, you know, if you ever have an arch rival, but you want to pretend to be nice, you can feed the guy some bitter almonds. Actually, that's that's murder, so I wouldn't quite suggest that. But, yeah, it, it is it is technically, it is possible. Bitter almonds have killed people in the past. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm not sure what they taste like. The fact that they're called bitter almonds doesn't make them sound very tasty. It's like calling shoes ugly shoes. I don't think you're going to sell a whole lot. Oh, I've seen the newest line of ugly shoes. A terrible. Huge surprise. Good lord. I guess bitter isn't always bad. Right? You got... What else is bitter? Is coffee bitter? I feel like it might be. Are cigarettes bitter? I bet cigarettes are bitter too. I'm not sure if that's true. Do they have a taste? It tastes like tobacco. I don't know what that's like. Uh, either way, oracles popping out. Nexus is going to be built. I really hate the way that Nightmare plays the first four minutes of this game. How conservative, conservative he is with his first oracle. Just really not getting anything done. How conservative he is with these first adepts. Really not getting anything done. Um... Now it's going to start flying. Let's just follow these. See what the movement is at this point. He's in a way. If he now gets a lot more damage than the, the, the regular Joe. The average Joe. It might be kind of cool. So let's see what you're up to, buddy. It's going to clear a creep tumor. Tank some damage right in the face. If two more gases coming in, is this early? This feels kind of early for gases, doesn't it? Four more overlords as well on the way. This is going to be a Rochal in. As I say that, he builds another drone. What the hell? He's building five overlords. Oh, he's just super supply blocked again. He should be Rochal inning. If his plan wasn't to Rochal in yet, he now should be. Because holy crap, this was a terrible opener for Dark. Despite Nightmare's zero damage, I think his early game is still fine because Dark's early game has been awful. Dark once again, uh, kind of a late fort base. Evo Chamber. Now it's gonna take a fort five minutes and 20 seconds in. We have these adepts on the map. This is, this is the difference between Hero and Nightmare. Is it Hero, every single game he plays kills 25 workers? And Nightmare, every single game he plays doesn't kill 25 workers. And that's a pretty significant difference. That is that is game ending. Like, killing those 25 workers, let me tell you. Ooh. It's adding in a fast robotics facility here, as well as a lot of gateways. And I've spoken about the Colossus before. I feel like we might be seeing him this time around. It's Dark just going for the exact same build order here. He's building Roach, Baneling. Second Robo. God. There's only one thing worse than one Robo Colossus, and that's double Robo Colossus. Does it? That actually gives me the freaking heebie jeebies. That actually gives me the absolute heebie jeebies. God, I hate Colossus so much, this unit. It rustles my jimmies so, so much. What is this? We have three oracles, Prism on the way out. So I'm assuming a relatively powerful blink attack here. into a double colossus push with relatively low worker count that's what i want to say now luckily for nightmare his opponent is also going for a relatively low worker count because look how little pressure there is on the map right now theoretically dark could have gone up to a worker count of uh, freaking 95 dark could be tacking to ultras right now okay he could be so far in the future that nightmare wouldn't even recognize any of the things there it could be ultras on the way, but instead Dark is going for a 37 Baneling attack with a couple of roaches added into the mix as well. Now, the I was going to say the queens are starting to walk too, but this is really just a single queen and this one seems more lost than anything. Uh, Baneling being more of this early in advance, the, 
is, is really weird if this is a defensive move, right? So I think Nightmare looks at this and he's like, okay, I, I know what this is. Now the queens are going to start walking. By the queen, the time these queens arrive, the attack is already over, though. So I'm not super keen on this. Uh, there's so much freaking energy on these oracles. Holy crap. I'll start working on a roach. Banelings coming in from the side are going to take out a bunch of these probes as uh, the prism will manage to kind of get these colossus back to safety 10 workers going down nexus falls as well we have 65 workers the 57 as honestly nightmare not in a terrible spot i don't love it but he has the potential to actually deal some damage he's double expanding which i think is an okay move doesn't have the greatest army mainly due to the fact that he's built colossus and the colossus doesn't really do much versus roaches but he, nah. Okay, maybe this just isn't great. He did lose a bunch of workers in the Nexus. He, he needs to move on the map right now with just the Stalkers. I think the Colossus need to stay at home. And he's building four sentries and two more Colossus. It's two more mistakes right here. Hate to see it. You hate to see it. Infestation pit on the way as well. You know what the problem is with Colossus? Is that Banelings are actually good against them. That is a problem. Because Storm just it eats Banelings so, so hard. Storm eats Banelings for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and all the in-between meals that you can have. Second breakfast. And the four o'clock tea or afternoon snack. The late night snack. I'm a huge fan of the late night snack. I often skip dinner so I can have a bigger late night snack just before bed. Whenever I tell people the things I do when it comes to eating, they always tell me that isn't it, shouldn't you be not be eating too close to bed because you can't sleep, mate. I sleep in three seconds. Whenever I want to sleep, I can sleep. Okay, I figured out the co I broke the code. The sleeping enigma. There's guys like reading books on how to sleep, and I figured it out by myself. Of the ultimate strategy. Eat a large meal just before you go to bed, drink a lot of water, and then just when you feel like you need to pee to get out of bed, that's when you fall asleep. You just have to ignore it. Hope you don't wet yourself at night. What is Dark doing here? Just kind of hanging out. Going into Hydra then. This is typical New Age garbage. Like this Ravager Link Bane into Lurkers at this point. Hey, like this is I'm not down with this yet. I'm surprised that Dark is down with this. He's also during this entire period has added like freaking ten drones or something, which is not a very high number. I feel like if you want to go into ten gases, you probably should be above seventy five workers. But I'm not sure. I've never won a BlizzCon. Dark did. I actually think he won the final BlizzCon ever, didn't he? Against Raynor in the finals. Do we believe that to be true? Ooh, look at this. Nidus Network. That's nice. Wait, was he even gonna Nidus? Lynx? I'm so negative today. I'm sorry. I'm actually looking forward to see what this is gonna bring. Adrenal glands, was that 25%? No, 33%. A bit more, even 40%. Adrenal, plus three melee. Like he's literally getting every upgrade in the game right now. Overlord speed, range. You have a Nidus network, six spores on the way. I don't know quite know what these spores are for. I guess if there's going to be a carrier transition. Or I guess it's not bad against the Colossus either. Nightmare has now maxed out on an army. And the only reason why this army is good is because there's Storm in it. If Storm wasn't here, this would be the worst army in the world. Of a maxed out army, that is. Like, if you were to craft world's weakest army with max supply, this would be very close to it, but you'd remove the Templar. This wins no fights. This army can't win. I freaking love what Dark is doing here. He's taking needless risk by going for a base trade on 71 workers. That is such a cool move. This is why Dark is just more fun to watch than anyone else. As uh, it's gonna take out a couple of workers here. It's gonna take out a lot of the static defense. 
And behind this, he wants to probably be building Hydras, is what I'm expecting, yeah. So this is... This fight went absolutely garbage. This is the, the worst thing that could have happened. This is, this is a very high test move. But like, just like most other high test moves, they tend to be quite bad. It, this was really cool, but so pointless, and I love it. Uh, Lynx are trying to get back in here. Maybe they can actually take out a base. No, they can't. Uh, Adreno Glance is good, and plus three is as well, but... Freaking four Colossus and a bunch of Stalkers. Natural now is being attacked by Lynx, Roaches, and other dudes. These Lynx, these three are going to deal more damage than the entire attack earlier. They got four kills. The attack earlier only got two kills. The follow-up is going to be 11 Lurkers. Nightmare slowly but surely improving his army as he's added in some, some Archons as well into the mix. We now are going to see the one area in which Colossus are very good. And that's when they're shooting Spores because they outrange him. That's the only thing that the Colossus is okay at, is at shooting spores. When there's lurkers behind it. And so that's very nice. Knight is going up in the main base. There's going to be some lurkers in there. There's now going to be some lurkers out there. And that's probably going to force Nightmare, or Nightmare is going to feel forced to do something. Oh, Colossus. Look at this. Four freaking Colossus performing worse here than uh, four Immortals would. And he's going to teleport back home. Should be capable of clearing this, as there's only two lurkers. I'm not quite sure why Dark continues to, to, to pop out of that Nidus. That seemed a little bit risky. Worker count is 71 to 59. After 14 minutes in game, Dark also is just taking these side bases, but he doesn't have the workers for it. He isn't even saturating his fifth yet. He's not even fully saturated on his fourth. And he went up to freaking, what, eight base. There's four bases just not doing anything. Mining a little bit of gas. That's it. Another Nidus gets denied. That does mean that Dark's army is going to be pretty large. Although now that I say that, he has gone up to 80 workers. Just when things are starting to get interesting. This base is going to get cleared. I don't actually think Dark gives a crap about that. Trying to clear this base though is something Dark should probably care about. As once again, we're continuing to improve our army. Craft... The ultimate army. Slowly but surely we're heading in that direction. Stalkers are disappearing. Immortals are being added in. Storm still in this force as well. Which is great. Triple Stargates on the way. Plus a fleet beacon. It's going to bring the total amount of Stargates up to four. That's some quick math. Dark once again decides to just straight up send it. With a, a bit of a, a counter. A bit of a counter attack. It's, a, it's an attempt of a, of a base trade. If I've ever seen one. He walks in. Starts going at it. Cannon goes down. There's no recall available because we've used it earlier. And with those lurkers in this position, and this army still consisting of some colossus, I don't think you can actually just walk in there. Ten more zealots do get warped in. Natural has now been breached. Dark has lost a lot of money. And is losing quite a few drones as well. Nightmare with the higher money count. Lower worker count. It's taking out a lot of freaking workers now, though. Holy crap. 26 over there. It's gonna lose a lot of production. If he ain't careful, he, he could end up in one of these situations where you basically have everything you want except production. Like, you have a decent army, you, you have a lot, uh, a lot of cash. If you lose all your production, that freaking sucks. Good storms coming out of a prism. Just gonna hit uh, all them lurkers, which is lovely to see, to be honest. Uh, walked his entire army through the Lurkers. So the Colossus now are now struggling to do anything at all. They were stuck behind each other. Typical Colossus move. As Dark with some uh, some sweet, sweet Nidus play is actually going to magically win this game. And Nightmare is going to be wondering what went wrong here. I know exactly what went wrong here. These three idiots. With the long, fat lasers. God, oh yeah. 71 workers once again for Dark, as uh, Nightmare is coping a little bit. Believing he still has a chance, which he absolutely does not anymore. By the time these Colossus manage to go through the Lurkers, uh, Dark is going to be uh, transitioning into Ultras already or something. Yeah, GG's gonna get called. 2-1 is the score in favor of our Zerg player. That, my dear friends, is going to be it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. Shout out to the KSL for... Uh, supply me with this replay pack and i'll see all of you next time for a new video thanks and bye bye